Hi, this is Samar from Developer Relations at BlackBerry. Welcome to this video on sharing builds of your BlackBerry 10 native application with others. In the first video of this video series, I have shown you how to create a bar file for your application and how to sign it. In this video, I will show you and the others you are intending to share your application with how to deploy a bar file to one or multiple BlackBerry 10 devices. Bar files of BlackBerry 10 applications can either be signed or unsigned. Deploying unsigned bar files to a BlackBerry 10 device requires a debug token to be installed on the device. In this video, however, I will show you how to deploy a signed bar file to a BlackBerry 10 device. To install a BlackBerry 10 app packaged in a bar file to a BlackBerry 10 device outside of BlackBerry World, you need to have a BlackBerry 10 SDK installed to your computer. If you haven't done so already, then go to this link for a free download of the BlackBerry 10 native SDK. Here's a summary of the steps you need to follow to install a BlackBerry 10 application using the BlackBerry 10 native SDK. 1. Put device in development mode. 2. Connect device to computer. And 3. Deploy application bar file to target device. For multiple devices, simply repeat these steps for every device to which you want to install the bar file. The very first step is to put the device in development mode. To put your device in development mode, swipe down the top bezel of your device and go to the Settings app. Go to Security and Privacy and then select Development Mode. There, turn on the Development Mode toggle button and take note of the IP address of the device. Step 2 is to connect your device to your computer either using a USB cable or using Wi-Fi. Step 3 is to install the application bar file to the device. You can install the application bar file to a BlackBerry 10 device either using the IDE or using the command line tools. To do so using the IDE, you need first to set up your device as a target in the IDE. One way to do so is through the BlackBerry Deployment Setup Wizard. Go to Window and choose Preferences. Then click BlackBerry. Open the BlackBerry Deployment Setup Wizard, then click Next. Now the IDE will try to detect connected targets. Once that is done, choose to connect to device connected using USB. Provide the device IP address and password and click Next three times to arrive to the Summary tab where you can click Finish. When you return back to the Preferences dialog, click OK. You will now see a green dot next to your device in the Target drop-down menu in the IDE. Now that our target is seen and connected in the IDE, go to File, Import and choose to import a file system into the IDE. Click Next and browse to the location of the application bar file you want to deploy. Select the project folder you want to import the bar file into and click Finish. When you double-click the bar file you just imported, the editor window will now display the manifest of the bar file and at the top right corner there is going to appear an Install and Uninstall action items. Click Install to install the application bar file to your device. Now go to your device and you will be able to see the application icon appearing next to the already installed applications. Next, let me show you how to perform the same steps using the command line tools. First, you need to set up the environment variables of the BlackBerry 10 native SDK. This is a step you need to follow every time you intend to use any of the BlackBerry 10 native command line tools in a command window. To set the environment variables in Windows, open the Start menu and type CMD in the search box. Right-click the CMD file and run as administrator. When the command window opens, change the directory to where you have your BlackBerry 10 NDK installed. That's usually under the C drive in the BB NDK folder. Then run the BB NDK-end.bat file. If you have multiple installations of the native SDK installed, then choose the SDK release you want to use. Finally, you can use the BlackBerry-Deploy tool to deploy your signed bar file to your BlackBerry 10 device. Type and run the following command. BlackBerry-Deploy-Install-App-Device Then specify the device IP address 
dash password, then specify the device password, dash package, and finally specify the application bar file name including its location. You will know the operation was successful when you see the success message shown on the command window. And the device will now display the application icon along with the already existing apps. Notice, however, that as mentioned earlier, deploying a BlackBerry 10 application bar file to a BlackBerry 10 device will only result in success if the bar file is signed. Now let's try and see what will happen if we try to use the command line tools to deploy an unsigned bar file on the connected device. As you can see, here you will get an error message due to the missing signature. You will receive the same error as well if you try to deploy using the IDE. We are seeing this error because the operating system of the device is considering an unsigned bar file with no author information as unauthorized and is blocking its deployment. Unsigned bar files can only be used under certain conditions that we will explore in more detail in a subsequent two-part video series on sharing unsigned bar files with others. That brings us to the end of this short tutorial on how to deploy a bar file on a BlackBerry 10 device. I hope you found it helpful and hope to see you again soon. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section below or drop me a tweet at Samar Abdel Subscribe to our channel to stay tuned on new video releases by BlackBerry Dev.